Remember to thank the animator Mario and Sonic Super Gamer for this amazing animation, but now, let's get on to the episode. There are many knights loved in fiction, like Urza Scarlet from Fairytale and Sir Arthur, but these two are known to be loved by most. Shovel Knight, the man with a shovel, and Meta Knight, the chosen one dwarf mentor. It's your role the great demon here, it's my job to analyze both these characters to their fullest to see what happened when these two fictional characters collide. Shovel Knight is the main playable character in the game, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight is the ch chivalrous, willing to go to great lengths to find his lost love, Shield Knight, and do doing incredible things along the way. He wields the Shovel Blade, a powerful weapon he swings like a sword, even though it's not a sword, but, but whenever people in gaming, shovels can be one hell of a weapon. He, he uses it to swing like a sword, dig up materials, and smash blocks of dirt bigger than he is. The Shovel Blade can reflect projectiles and open chests. Find secret rooms and even bounce off his enemies like a pogo stick with shovel drop. With it, he can use the drop spark. With each which throws projectiles while Shovel Knight's fully powered, kinda like Link from Legends of Zelda. The trench blade, which lets him scoop up giant mouths of dirt in one scoop, and then charge and the charge handle, which lets him power up a devastating slash. But he still is shorter than children in his village when you guys see in the game. He got great agility and jumping skills despite being weighed down by armor. But there's more to dig about this heroic gardener. Egg digs? Cause he's... he's a... his shovel? Oh shut up then. He got the flare wall that allows him to shoot long range foot fireballs that, then the phase rocket, rocket. Which gives him the ability to walk through enemies and make himself invisible. The dust knuckles with, with, with which he can punch through dirt, dirt blocks and dig through, through ceilings. The alchemy coin, which is tossed and turns small enemies into gold, but it's not too great against armored enemies. Shovel Knight was the, has the mobile gear that, that lets him cross spikes, small pits, and can be stuck into walls to use as a platform. It's basically a badass segue. <laughs> He's got the war horn, which is one of the literally powerful weapons in this, which puts off some kind of magic sound wave that damages and destroys nearby enemies. He's got a fishing rod which he has an anchor for his sinker weight, as well as an anchor he can throw. Talk about a Napoleon complex if you ask me. <coughs> He's got the Chaos Spear, which is pretty much a bouncy ball that kills things. And the Propeller Dagger lets him fly short distances or ram his in into his enemies. And two Tropical Chalices, which he can fill with Lynchers for a powered up. The Lynchers of Renewal fully heals Shovel Knight and restores his magic. The lyncher of boldness makes him invincible for 10 seconds. Shovel Knight's durable enough to, to, hit, to take hits that levels towers, towers across countries by catapult, and skilled enough to take on the order of new, no quarters at the same time. And strong enough to pull them to safety afterwards. He usually wears the stalwart plate, but has a variety of other useful armors as well. The conjure coat, which makes him more damage, makes him take more damage in exchange for more magic. The Dynamo Mail that unleashes a charge slash with multiple bounces. The Mail of Momentium that limits his mobility while adding some extra protection. The Ornate Plate that increases agility to let him jump around like an acrobat. Toad Gear lets him brawl more effect effectively, which he got from beating up the Battle Toads. Yes, this guy fought the Battle Toads. And then there's the Armored of Chaos. The Armor of Chaos was forged from the broken fragments of the Grave Digger Shovel that he got from defeating Kratos. Again, he defeated Kratos from God of War. It let him fight like Kratos at the cost of his Shovel upgrades. It does, however, speed up his Shovel Drop and allow him to take Red Ore. It makes him glow red, and when he attacks, he releases a wave of fire damage any enemy. De Shovel Knight has defeated several enemies from the Big Creep to the Remnant of Fate to battle towards even the God of War, and defeated the evil sorceress and even saved his love, Sh Shield Knight. But without enough magic and magical properties, he won't be able to use all his weapons, and he has to always go around choosing each weapon at very certain occasions. Sometimes some weapons won't be good at certain occasions, but others will be greatly better at some. He's always needs to see if he can find the weakness of his enemies. But be careful. 
if you piss off this guy or take his love, you're going to get a shovel to the face. One thousand years ago, the War of the Universe took place. In the hope were heroic star warriors doing battle with the evil nightmare in his, in his army. In the end, the good were victorious, but many, many heroes were lost during this battle. It's not exactly known that, what happened to those who survived, yet one found his way to the planet Pop Star where he remained for many years until the, so to speak, chosen one known as Kirby. Kirby crashed and landed on the planet, destined to finish what started a millennium ago. The surviving Star Warrior decided that he would become Kirby's mentor in order to prepare him for battle. The Star Warrior's name was Meta Knight. Damn. What are the odds that the Chosen One would crash land on the only planet with a Star Warrior on it? I mean, it's probably not too high, people. Meta Knight's relationship with the pink puffball known as Kirby is very on again, off again. Sometimes they're friends, sometimes they're rivals, sometimes Meta Knight is a mentor, sometimes he'll try to make Kirby's journey harder by owning the crew of his personal battleship, the Hellboard, attack him. But whichever side he is, he certainly seems to enjoy keeping it keeping to himself. Meta Knight's main weapon is the Sword Galaxia, an indestructible blade that was forged by Fultron, ruler of the Fire People. And what do you know, Galaxia also has a chosen one thing happening, as it can only be wielded by the Worthy One, such as Meta Knight and Kirby. It can fire lasers when Meta Knight is at full health, kind of like Le Link from Legend of Zelda. It can swing faster than sound, and it appears that only quick red-yellow slashes. He also got the dimensional cape, for which he wraps himself up and teleports with, by spinning. And somehow it can turn into wings. Uh, or however that the fuck that can happen. You can create up to five clones of himself at once as shown in the Stardo Patrol EOSO sub game in Kirby's Vast Attack. It can both increase his speed and heal himself with special tools, but his most iconic ability is the Mock Tornado. He spins so fast he can create a tornado around himself. Now there aren't actually any anime or cutscene for us to get a good read on this move in his power, so instead we'll compare it to a real life tornado. Which can have six different types. You can go from the weakest type, an EF0, that can break large trees and destroy small buildings, to, a, to the strongest type, an EF5. Which, to put things simply, erase everything on its path. Total destruction, people. And there's everything in between. Just as a comparison for all of you. Oh yeah, and then there's a super powered up version, the Mock Tornado. Which can easily overkill a box. It only takes a second to charge and he also ca captains the Helper, the humongous flying battleship with all sorts of lasers. And soldiers and gigantic robotic lobsters. Wish it was real though, that would be something else. That thing would make an awesome dinner, a giant robotic lobster. Midnight's mm -hmm. done all sorts of impressive things. He survived atmospheres re-entries, flown from planet to planet in seconds, lived for over a thousand years, believed to be the only surviving Star Warrior, warrior. and began to wish by the comic Nova, Midnight Wish, and I quote, to fight the greatest warrior of the galaxy. And did, and what else did he do? He wins. Meta Knight is one powerful puffball, and yes, he's a puffball. He's almost kind of like the same race of Kirby, but slightly smarter. But he is one of those, I don't want to fight unless it's a fair fight. And he always would give Kirby or someone a sword or something that can always match him up. He also looks ridiculous without a sword. If you've seen him without his mask on, he, he always tries to run off when that thing is broken. He also dislikes being helped in a fight. Luckily for my series, there is no outside help. And he often seems to hold back and not use his full potential in the fight. Which can... Particularly make him lose a fight, he can easily win. But push him to kick into high gear and look out. You're a one tough... Of a, you're one for one tough battle against Meta Knight. No! <laughs> Okay, these two combatants are said. Now let's settle this. It's time for fictional characters to collide. Fight me.
Man, this episode ended in a flash. <laughs> Sorry. Now let's explain why Meta Knight would win this fight. Meta Knight is... has less arsenal and less armors and abilities, but his pure power alone is what can overpower Shovel Knight. Yeah, Shovel Knight has more weaponry, more abilities, and more magic, but they all take on a magical scale. You need, he needs to have a, a good amount of magical potions to refill his ability. And yes, his chalices does help him with that, but there are only limited amounts. Meta Knight just needs to just wait, wait it out until Shovel Knight is ran out of magic and weaponry. And also, his power is unbelievable. He's strong. He's as strong as a rounded EOF five tornado with his mock tornado attack. And his Galaxy Sword is one of the most strongest things in his universe, even given by the one of the more chosen ones as Voltron. His name was strong enough to fight off against Kirby when he had his sword form. And he's also fought against Kirby multiple times, which is which is highly impressive. And also, yeah, with durability, Meta Knight beats him again. Yes, Shovel Knight can be tossed around countries with catapults, but Meta Knight survived multiple re-entries from space. That is that is highly more stronger than just being thrown across places of, from with catapults. And also, Meta Knight is faster. He's fast enough to keep up with Kirby, who's fast enough to run through water. And Meta Knight's own abilities, like his cloak cave that makes him teleport out of nowhere in the fight is that enemies is strong enough to go against any kind of armor or abilities Shovel Knight has, has. Shovel Knight has never fought anyone who can do that kind of teleportation. And yes, fighting the Empress is, is the press of but never. Meta Knight defeated the strongest being in his universe. That is highly, that is more impressive than you think. And based on the people in his universe, it has to be one of the most, it is, Highly stronger than Kirby then. If Kirby's not the strongest thing in his universe, he has defeated something even stronger than Kirby. And, when, and yes, that's mostly why Meta Knight would win this fight. You could say Shovel Knight just dug his own grave. The winner is Meta Knight. Next time on Fictional Characters Collide.